Hey, so this is really just out there for any of my um, Google Classroom users. Um, if you're using Google Classroom and if you've been using Google Meet, their video um, conferencing chat, um, this is for you, or if you're interested in using the video conferencing Google Meet. Well, um, I use Classroom and that's my hub for everything that students kind of their launching pad to go to wherever I need them to go. Um, but for making my Google Meets that I want to invite students, I would either have to open another tab, type in meet.google.com and generate a link from there, or I would have to go to Google's calendar and um, schedule the meeting in advance. This actually um, just happened, that Classroom just put it out, that you can actually generate your meeting link right in your classroom, which is pretty awesome. And the way that you do that is right in the settings. Um, if you go down, um, I'm gonna turn off Guardian Summaries here. I don't really need that in my fake class. Um, it's located right underneath Guardian Summaries and it says Classroom now supports Meet. Woo, that's awesome. If you click here, it's going to explain more about what Meet is if you are interested, but it's basically a video conferencing, very similar to Zoom, but Google's version. So I can click and I can generate my meeting link. That is just the link that is specific to um, my class that I'm going to now be able to share. You're going to see now it says it made it visible to students. Let's see what that means. Well, what it does is it puts it right up here in all of our information. So students could just go here and click and it's going to bring them into um, the screen to enter our meeting. From here, um, just if you use Google Meet, you already know. Um, you would then want to make sure that your camera is enabled, your mic is enabled, all of that. And it's important that you understand Google Classroom makes a very unique um, meeting name, which is one of the, the pros of this is that it kind of just does it for you. And then you could join. Students also can join from there. When we join the meeting, um, it's important that we understand that this meeting does not just so if you want to do this is what i used to have to do i used to have to share the link to all my students um so right now i'm the only person here my students would be shared here if um they were in it and um i have all my normal controls that i could mute other people i can exit people um and so on the one piece of advice that I have that's probably that trumps anything is to make sure that you are the last person to leave your meeting. Um, yes, there's, you know, always a chance that students can open their own thing, but in your hub that you're creating, please just um, be the last person. Um, you can click and there's an option that you can exit them when they're listed here. Um, with that, just as I'm in here, I can just go over a couple of the other features. If you hover and click um, below, you'll see that you can turn on captions. It's pretty good. Um, and it's a good thing to know if a student's um, speakers aren't working and they say, which they can use this little chat thing here. My students normally will type to me, Mrs. Almada, I can't hear you. And I'll type back and just say, turn on captions or I'll tell them to log out, log back in. Um, so there's a chat feature, there's the caption feature. You can also have a screen share feature, which is really, really amazing that you can click and um, you will then be prompted to be able to share your entire screen um, or just a window. Um, I usually click to share the entire screen and it goes like this. And then students are able to hear your voice and also see your screen. That's a nice way to walk students through things um, and to show them where things are located. Again, um, this was all just accessed from a link that was generated, now able to be generated right in your classroom. That's so awesome, so clutch. Um, I do, having fifth graders know that my students would see that and want to go there without me. So when you're done, I would recommend going back and saying not visible to students anymore. Um, 
I know that this tutorial wasn't really heavy on getting into how to use Google Meet. If people are interested in that, let me know. Um, but I just wanted to make the announcement and share the news. Um, I want to really shout it from the mountaintops that you have one less step, at least if you use Google Classroom and you use Google Meets or want to use Google Meets, you can now launch to Google Meets right from your classroom, which is pretty awesome.